I think what people don't understand is by staying silent, they give the impression that nobody struggles with this. I'm here. And on and social media, I didn't it's even full think I would make it to all 16. the highlight reels. Like, it got so I bad. Think I felt like you know, that I have, as I call them, the bad and thoughts. And it feels so good. <laughs> you know, to had so many people in his back. I made it. But he was burdened. No one was really fighting. Yeah. Yeah. There was yeah. no question yeah. about yeah. the burden. Found out that my friend took his life because of that. He was my college best friend. I had best suicide. And I think it was a bit really expensive. Um, my own experience is that when I was in my 30s, I was struggling with depression and became suicidal and went to the hospital and got help. Um, it wasn't quite that simple, uh, but I think about today and how different my life is and gosh, that if I wouldn't have survived my suicidal thoughts, I wouldn't be here today. So um, my little brother um, was not quite so lucky, and a few years after my hospitalization, he took his life. I think what people don't understand is by staying silent, they give the impression that nobody struggles with this. And on social media, it's full of all the highlight reels of people's lives and, um, you know, they don't know that lots of people struggle and lots of people suffer. And if we could speak about suicide prevention with the same um, veracity that we speak about homecoming or um, the next concert that's coming up or football games, that it would completely change the survival rate of suicide. I just wanted to encourage you to speak up and get help and just know that if you're struggling, there's help available.